There's a simple way to use ChatGPT to plan out your day and your week. And there are three ways that I am using this trick to stay on track. And believe me, I get a lot of work done. Now I have less than an hour to make this video because my electricity is about to be turned off and it's not going to be back on for seven hours. So I have to be efficient. I've been using Todoist to track all of my tasks. It's very simple, but you could also use this trick with some of the more advanced task tracking programs out there. And let's see, I have more than 300 tasks that I'm tracking right now with new ones added each day. Even if I didn't eat, sleep, move from this chair, I could not get all of this done in a week or even a month. But that's okay because being productive is all about prioritizing what is truly important. And even though I have all of these tasks, I like to start every day with a reset. So if I just look at the tasks at hand, I can get overwhelmed. And sometimes I start my day with a short meditation or a walk outdoors. And I do like to think about what's important in life, not just what's on my to-do list. So here's one of the ways I love to start out. And by the way, I filmed this part before I got the email about the electric being turned off and I look so relaxed. So I've made this part of my morning routine where I sit down with a pad of paper and a pen and I do a brain dump. And this really helps me focus and not get stuck in the electronic part of my day too early. So now I'm gonna take a picture of it and I will upload this to ChatGPT and let it know what my main goals are today and it's gonna help me decide what to prioritize but also it knows my long-term projects, so it's gonna let me know if maybe there's some things that I have to hold off on or if maybe there's something I should be doing right away. So let me go ahead and add it. Okay, yeah, <laughs> I almost forgot about that. Yes, that's so important. Okay, good, yes, yes, yes. Okay, this is gonna help me plan out what I need to do. I do like how it's giving me this hour by hour breakdown of what to do with my day. So what I'm gonna do next is add some of these tasks to my to-do list. I'm using Todoist. And then I'll also be updating my Notion dashboard with some of these more long-term projects. And now that I know what I'm gonna do with my day, I can put this aside and actually eat my breakfast. One of the bigger projects that I'm working on right now is this long form piece for this channel about the conversation around AI and music. And it is a behemoth of a project. The tasks keep getting pushed back, but this week I really wanna make sure that I'm prioritizing some of them so I can actually get this thing off of my plate. So I'm going to use ChatGPT to let it know that it is a priority for this week. And as for all the other tasks and ideas, generally they all get added to today's list. And the problem is that I put way more tasks into my Todoist than I can reasonably get done in a given day. And now I could go back and forth with ChatGPT to prioritize today's work, but I think it's important to put it all in perspective. And often that means focusing on the entire week. I might even move some of these tasks around, placing them where I think they should go. And remember to look at deadlines and keep in mind just how long it's going to actually take to complete a task. So next, I use a very simple trick. I take a screenshot of Todoist and I pop it into ChatGPT and I have it prioritize my day. Together, we are narrowing down the top three things to do each day for the week. So once I have my priorities down, I like to update and add the long-term projects to my Notion dashboard. So this is something that I've created because some of those long-term projects were just getting lost. And I do wanna show you one of my favorite features here. This is a timeline with deadlines for this project, and it's really pretty fun to see the progress. But there's another way to go about all of this, and that's starting with the brain dump directly into ChatGPT. So it's similar to using a notepad and pen, but instead you're using your keyboard and screen. Or if you like doing a stream of consciousness, there's also ChatGPT's voice feature. Okay, please don't pay attention to the fact that the back of my phone is really cracked. <laughs> all right, let me pop this up. All right, I love using the voice feature. Good morning, how's you doing today? I'm good. I have a lot of tasks that I want to get to today. So I'd like to tell you what I'm thinking about. And then I'd like you to create a list, like a to-do list of what I should be getting done today and prioritize it, especially for the first like top three things that I should do. Absolutely. I'd be happy to help you with that. Just let me know what tasks you have in mind and then we can put them in order of priority so you can tackle them efficiently. 
Okay, great. So I want to log more interviews from the piece I'm doing about AI and music. I also have paperwork I have to finish up for the big WC project. I have a lot of emails I'm gonna have to respond to. Also, I have a 2 p.m. event today. Oh gosh, that's gonna start after my electric's off. Got it. Let's start with prioritizing today's tasks. I'd say the top three priorities would likely be finishing that paperwork for the WC project, since that sounds pretty big, and then logging the interviews for your AI and music piece. And then you can fit in that 2 p.m. event, um, making sure you have a way to attend it even if the electricity is off. How does that sound? That sounds great. Based on what you know about me, what should I be on the lookout for in terms of possibly getting off track today? That's a great question. I think one thing to keep in mind is that emails can sometimes become a bit of a rabbit hole, especially if you start with the less important ones first. So it might be a good idea to set a timer or pick just a handful of priority emails and then move on. I've noticed that a lot of LLMs like ChatGPT like to spit out solutions, but sometimes it's not as helpful as it could be. So I'll sometimes ask it to include any questions for me before it goes about giving me answers. Of course, none of these programs are perfect. So if something is important, make sure that you're double checking or talking to an expert. And remember to use your own brain too. AI is here to help us, not just for us to do what it says. I believe in setting up a to-do list that is gratifying when I can check mark things off instead of feeling crushed by the weight of, I should be doing this, I should be doing that. It's very easy to get caught in that trap. I hope that these tips have been helpful and please subscribe. I cover AI and tech and you can also leave suggestions in the comments about what you would like to know when it comes to artificial intelligence. And the electricity just turned off. So I got most of this done, but whoo, um, my to-do list just got a lot longer because I can't get a lot done today with no electricity. Hello. Hey there, welcome back. How is everything going so far? So the electricity just went off and I likely will not have it again for another seven hours. I'm contemplating trying to go somewhere like a coffee shop that might have some electricity, but I'm wondering if there's anything on my to-do list that I could get done with no electricity. Oh, got it. Well, the hike would definitely be something you could do without electricity. So that might be a nice option. And if you wanted to, you could also head to a coffee shop and work on logging those interviews or catching up on emails since you'd have Wi-Fi and a power source there. But if you'd rather stay offline, this could also be a great time to do some brainstorming or planning, maybe even update your project tracker in a notebook and transfer it to Notion later. So you've definitely got options. Great. All right. <laughs>